The Cat Freedom Voucher Program allows eligible Chatham County residents to save 50% on transportation. And in an update to the program, customers can return unused tickets for reimbursement. And did you know that you can get anywhere mm -hmm. in Chatham County and downtown Savannah with Cat? And joining us now from Cat or Chatham Area Transit, we have Patricia Hawkins and Ramon Robinson, who is Chief Development Officer, correct? That's correct. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How has um, Cat has changed over the years? It has. And not just the look of the buses, but also the services. It has. Uh, Cat being a regional transportation provider, you know, we're wanting to look at things more from a mobility management standpoint. So you will hear the, the upcoming transit center coming to downtown, which is going to definitely change the way that we provide transit services for the Chatham Chatham County region, City of Savannah in particular. What's the schedule on that? Um, we're looking at October. October for the opening of the transit center. Uh, of, yeah. of, this, of, of this year. This yes, year? Wow. Correct. Oh, great. And, and you mentioned regional because a lot of people think, you know, it's just downtown or it's just in, you know, in, in immediate Savannah. But you see cat buses all over the place, don't you? That's <laughs> correct. We, we definitely want to focus on the regional portion for the mere fact that um, we just undertake, undertook a transit development plan, which is going to be our five-year strategic guide as to how we're going to plan out our services. And a part of that, we're looking at how or and why the needs of being more regional is important. Um, just to kind of give you an update, you know, there are roughly 30,000 people that live outside of Chatham County that are coming into Chatham County to work. Oh, wow. Imagine yeah. if we could get a third of those folks yeah. utilizing public transportation as the mobility manager, that's something that we're striving to do. You know, you build that in a person that's commuting and then it becomes mm -hmm. regular nature and a person wants to utilize the service more so all the time. You know, the American Public Transit Association states that a person utilizing transit can save roughly $10,000 per year. Did you hear that? Wow, yeah. wow 10000 That's a lot. That, that is, is a lot. lot. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's convenient. It can be convenient <coughs> if you work with the scheduling. There's all different size buses. Mm -hmm. I noticed that, too. Mm -hmm. All different ways to ride. Everyone can ride. Absolutely. And that's a big mission of CAT. It is. is. That, it, that no one gets left out of it. Exactly. Right? We want everyone to ride. You know, that the, 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 I guess when you say CAT is changing, one of the changes that we want to stress is that, you know, public transportation is not solely for a specific origin of folks. Right. It's for everybody. So when you're looking at how your travel patterns are decided upon, you're going to go with the most cost efficient, the most safe and the most reliable option possible. And that's what we're looking to do at CAT. You know, that's the new CAT mission. We want to be clean, safe, reliable for all so that we can get all of these riders into play so that we are the main mobility manager for the region. Clean, We've safe, mentioned reliable. that voucher program. Just tell us a little bit about that. So the Cat Freedom Voucher Program is basically a accessible taxi service. Um, you know, we have our regular Cat Paratransit service, which is our complementary service to our local fixed route. This is a taxi service. It's more demand responsive in nature. And so it responds just like a regular taxi service, but for that of those that have special needs. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So they can purchase those vouchers in advance, and then yes. if they don't use them all? After a year, if they don't use them all, they can return them in for a refund. Okay. That's that's great, too. Mm -hmm. And they don't then they don't lose that. Exactly. We have a really big student population. How does CAT handle students? Well, right. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's interesting that you say that yeah. because right now um, in handling students, we want more of the student base to be able to utilize the service. Um, we have our student shuttles that we run at Savannah State, and we also have the night service, which is the Prowler, which kind of gets students from their campus to the recreational downtown. It's called the, the Prowler. The Prowler. Cat Prowler. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Cats are not daily service. <laughs> And what did you say? The daily service to UPass program. Yes. And okay. so we, we're also looking at putting together a pass program to enhance or to entice student usage. So um, starting in August, you know, we have been in contact with a lot of the local universities, uh -huh. colleges, community yeah. colleges to kind of let them know, hey, what can we do to help to provide more mobility options for the students. So we are looking at a program, kind of a pilot program, 
to start in August to see if we can capture more of the student population to utilize the services. Yeah, because it would not, I wouldn't think, be beneficial to each one of the, mm -hmm. you know, to Armstrong and, right. and Savannah State and Savannah Tech and mm -hmm. all of them to do, to try to do something independently, mm -hmm. but to do this to cover all the students, to get them all over the area would be mm -hmm. fabulous. Mm -hmm. There is so much, yeah. actually, to know about CAT. It's all on the website. We can link you there through WTOC.com because if you've got some place to go, truly, you can get there on a CAT. Yep, you can. Please catch a cat. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Be the Match, a transplant organization takes a trip to Washington, D.C.